Hey guys, Soviet soldier here. Um, I just wanted to do a video on a on uh, asbestos filters. Okay. Well, anyway, as you know, this is the uh, PMG2. I did a video last night on it. And anyway, <clears throat> might some people might say, um, "Oh, hey, all the GP5 filters are okay." Well, here's one right now that came with it. See? It's dated 1974. I don't know if the camera can focus in on that. Yeah, there we go. But anyway, you don't want to use these filters because they contain a lot of asbestos. They will kill you over time. Like, they're bad. So anyway, I'm going to show you the filter that I use. I use an ABEC filter. It's a Polish ABEC filter. And you see it tells you it's color coded for what it can for the uh, gases it can take. But anyway, I have only two of these right now. They're in storage, but I would use these. You can get them on eBay. They're pretty cheap. Um, they're a little bit heavy, but hey, anything to save my life and so I don't use the wrong thing. So anyway, if you have your old filter, you can screw this and unpop it. Okay, so say you have your filter just laying around like this, right? You are going to want to plug it back up. So you take that plug, put it in the top there, and press down. Okay? Then, after you do that, you get your cap and you screw it. And if you have, if you lost the cap, then seal it up in a bag or something, or put it in a, <clears throat> just a cubby. Don't use these because they will kill you over time. But they will screw your lungs up dead. There are many cases now with test labs coming back with the old Soviet filters saying, "Oh, they, these contain asbestos." It's confirmed. So don't use these filters. Use an ABEC filter. Use a different kind of filter. If you don't understand it, then go uh, learn about it. <clears throat> Another YouTuber I watch, Weapons and Stuff, that's his name. Um, he uses Apex filters. And I didn't know what they were at the time when I was starting this. So now, anyway, I'm smart enough. I use the knowledge he had, and I use this now. So I use an Apex filter. And Apex filters are really good because they can, they can save you from... Mm, it's color coded, but I know the green is certain like chemical gases. The yellow is say like just dirt and smoke, and the brown is like after a chemical fallout. So say you if a bomb goes off and you're still alive, you can use these filters <clears throat> to stay alive. But anyway, these are a lot better and. It says the date on this is 2012. It expires in November of 2012 on the 25th. But since this thing has been on the shelf and never been opened, it's still useful. Its shelf life is a lot longer because it's been sealed up, locked in a bag, and never opened or touched. But anyway, I'm going to open it for the first time. So you can see in there. See, it's a lot better material, cloth in there. And all that. I'm going to open the bottom side now. And see? It's a different material. It's like a, it's like a paper cotton in there. But I can hear some of the charcoal in there. So anyway, yeah. Well, these are simpler. These are from Poland, if you want, if you uh, forgot. It's an ABEC filter. And I use these. I only have two of them right now. Still trying to stockpile them. So anyway, these are what I use <clears throat> when I do my tests or some other filters that I have, like the uh, other 40 millimeter NATO filter, the uh, not the EO11, that's the cheap filter mask uh, filters. But don't use those either because all cheap filter masks have asbestos in them. So don't use those. I just realized this and. I just thought the mask is cool though. Cool, it's a cool mask. 
but it's not good to wear on a daily basis. So I should stop doing that. <laughs> but anyway, this is just a quick little video to say use asbestos, don't use asbestos filters. If you have any of these, seal them up, lock them in a bag or something, put them in a cubby. Don't use these or have them on display because they're pretty cool. But anyway, besides that, I will see you guys in the next video. So stay cool, guys.